welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my clinic cart and exactly what I had in the whole thing going through school. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. All right guys, so here we have my clinic cart. I am really excited to show you. Now, disclaimer, this is a disaster. It's a disaster zone. It's not cute. It is fresh out of hygiene school. So it's not anything cute. You're not going to see any cute like organization here. This is real life. This is real clinic school life. So don't judge me. So in the first drawer here, I have these little organized containers. So if you can see that. But the first thing that we have here is my sunglasses. So this is where I kept my kids sunglasses. So whenever you have kid patients, it's actually really hard if you're using a light because their faces are so small. So the light kind of takes up their whole face. So instead of getting them just little safety glasses as your other patients have, it's a lot more beneficial if you get them kid sunglasses. So I have girl sunglasses and I have boy sunglasses. And this is perfect for whenever you're working on them and you don't have to worry about getting the light in their eyes. And then they're like, oh, and they don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So I always kept those right there so that I could grab them easily for my kids. I also have my name tag, which I'm not going to show because it has my school on it, but I kept my name tag right here. So every morning when I got to my cart, I could just take it, put it on my shirt, and I was good to go. Now, ride or die things that you need in clinic are sticky notes, number one thing. You can stick them places, you can write down pieces of calculus or locations of calculus that you miss, blood pressure, different things. If you need to write in like a rotation or any kind of dental charting that you can't exactly go on the computer right that moment, you can write it down. Sticky notes are amazing. I would stick them to the cabinets, I would stick them to the walls, I would stick them to my clinic cart so that I could have on hand writing something. The worst thing ever is to have a teacher tell you a piece of calculus that you need to go back and you totally forgot what the location was you can easily write down you know like eight mesial or eight whatever what I have in this back little container is more sticky notes I'm telling you I went through so many sticky notes I also have a pencil in here we mainly use pens but we had to use a pencil to write down our patients age so that because it changes every year if they're coming back to our clinic every year so we did have to write in pencil in some things and then this longer container right here is all of my pens so I the main pens that I recommend you getting are these kinds of three-way pens where it has black, red, green, and blue. For me personally, in my school, we had to write like medical alerts in red, and then we had to write different things in different colors. What I did, because I'm annoying, is I put my monogram on the pens because these are the pens that everybody wants, especially this purple one. I mean, I found this and I was like, holy grail. So I put my initials on that or my monogram on that so that, you know, people always knew this is my pen because I would leave them them at the desk I would leave them everywhere <laughs> so it was super awesome to be able to do that so that's pretty much it for the first drawer it's just the things that I need that were most accessible oh and I also have disclosing solution so this is the disclosing solution as you can see it's almost completely empty I had a faculty member that loved to paint this on I nicknamed her Picasso <laughs> Because man, she, the fact that I went through this whole bottle is ridiculous because you only need a tiny bit for like the whole mouth. So, but I did always have my disclosing solution in that top drawer so that I could grab it easily. So that's everything that I needed to grab super fast. All right. So now let's go to the second drawer. And by the way, I will link this cart for you. I got it on Amazon. I don't know. This is kind of the equivalent to like a clinic bag. So we kept all of this in our lot in our clinic. Okay, now this next drawer is straight up profi angles, which I know sounds very dramatic, but I have ridiculous amounts of profi angles. This probably isn't even all that I have. So I just have one big container here and then my small container here for my kids ones. So I have all of my kids, my zoobies that are, uh, you know, looking like little animals, like here's a flamingo. I keep my adult profi angles here and then in the small ones I keep my kid profi angles. All of these profi angles that I got were from free samples. Definitely do that. If your school provides like not very good profi angles, you can go on Young Dental, on Zuby for the Kids, on Wonderful Dental and you can get 
so many profi angles so it's like super awesome to be able to get those samples and use them and figure out what exactly you like i personally my favorite profi angle for adults is the vera by young dental which i'm sure if you're in dental hygiene school you know that's kind of like the holy grail it just really really helps if you're not in school yet you may not know profi angles are what you put on top of your little handpiece to polish your teeth at the end of a cleaning and these profi angles different ones have different designs and the vera by young dental is my favorite just because it gets the plaque off the best in my opinion. I always give myself an array of options but you know I was always digging for the Vera by Young. So let's go ahead and do my third drawer here. Again let's not judge the chaoticness of clinic. So this is Profi Paste. I have Profi Paste here and Profi Paste here. I also have the Delish Profi Paste samples and then I have my varnish right here so this is where I would go if I ever you know was talking to my patient and I was like all right what kind of like flavor you know toothpaste do you want I have all sorts of different flavors and coarseness I have like the Vera polish wonderful polish I have the delish polish I also have Zuby for kids polish and of course I have fine medium and coarse coarseness so generally in hygiene school whenever you first set out they only let you use fine on everybody but once you're educated and you know like okay I need something with that's more coarse because you know we have stain or whatever's going on once you're kind of they kind of let you make that decision later on in school and then of course I have my varnish here which you can use my school always made us do trays like fluoride trays unless we could say why we wanted to use varnish a lot of people wanted to use varnish because it would get them out of clinic quicker they didn't have to sit there for five minutes or whatever for the fluoride tray to sit there but our school would make us like no why do you want to use varnish okay well they have recession or they have a gag reflex so I still have a lot of varnish left because I always had to legitimize <laughs> using varnish so I didn't use it too much which I personally don't even like varnish anyway I'd rather personally do a tray than varnish to begin with because varnish is fluoride if you didn't know that like sits on your teeth we told our patients it feels like a fuzzy sweater but yeah so that's what I kept in this messy drawer okay now this is my fourth drawer now I want to also say that all of those containers and little dividers I got from Hobby Lobby but you can probably also find them in like a desk organizer section at like Walmart or something like that so in this messy drawer I have my oh I have two, so I accidentally got one of my friends from school, but I have two mirrors. Mirrors were lifesavers for me when it comes to, well, first of all, the reason why they required us to get mirrors is so that we can, you know, have our patients look and like do, you know, practice their brushing for OHI, which is oral hygiene instruction. So that's one of the reasons why we have these. But what I found to be so beneficial, and this might help you in clinic, is when you have an unruly kid, and they do not want you touching their mouth. I kind of thought about it because I used to work at a daycare and I was like, well, it's because they have no idea what's going on. Like they don't want to open their mouth. They're scared. So anytime that I had an issue with a kid, I would give them a mirror and I would say, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know, paint your teeth or whatever the heck. And they would take the mirror and they would watch. Now, sometimes they would kind of get it so close that it would get in the way. And I'd be like, all right, back it up. But that's a really great tip when working with kids is they just don't know what's going on and they, they don't know what's happening. So if you give them a mirror, they kind of feel like they have a little bit more control because they can see what's happening. And that helped me immensely dealing with kids. The next thing that I have in here, which I have talked about on my channel in the past, is the chair side instructor, which is amazing for patient education. Our school required us to get this, but honestly, I would recommend anybody who actually wants to educate their patients well and, you know, really explain to them what's going on in their mouths. I would highly recommend getting this. I know you can get it on Amazon. I'll link it below. So it has like tabs. So it has tabs on the bottom that say like oral anatomy, prevention and diagnosis, gum disease, decays and cavities. So let's just go to gum disease, okay? So it shows, you know, like what a deep cleaning is and it shows like the before and the after of deep cleaning and all of that stuff and it shows, you know, the different bone levels of you know periodontitis and gingivitis and what exactly is happening with that bone level so I absolutely love this I definitely think it's worth it for patient education and even sometimes I would let them like flip through it while I'm waiting on faculty it kind of just gets people really thinking about what's going on in their mouth and not just oh I'm here for a service like no what is going on inside of your mouth and let me educate with pictures and diagrams that can be easily understood by someone who's not educated in dental so then again this is messy and we're just keeping it real so I just have the 
this little container and this was full of all the profi paste that I wasn't really into but I would use if I had to and then I have a little sample pack of Vera paste and angles which is the holy grail for me again you can go online and you can get all of those samples if you want to have different profi paste and profi angles and even fluoride varnish options for your patients while we are on the topic of patient education I just want to show you really quick I am so incredibly excited because I got this type of art on a dental hygiene resale site and it is a type of knot that shows the progression of periodontitis. They sell these on Kilgore, but they're normally like 250 before tax. And I got this for a hundred bucks. So this shows you the early stages of periodontitis if you're explaining it to your patient. And then you can remove these gums and it shows the progression of periodontitis and calculus and bone loss and everything like that. Even it even shows mobility. Look at that. It even shows mobility. Like, I love this thing because nothing really speaks to people like a visual representation. I can tell them all day long what exactly is happening in their mouth and the host response and how everything works. And that can make sense to them. That can motivate some people. But I really think that a visual representation such as this is just so crazy beneficial for motivating your patient and showing them exactly what happens under your gums. I mean, radiographs can do so much, but they don't really understand that. Like they understand showing them something like this. So I'm really excited that I got this. Of course, I got this out of dental hygiene school but I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me when I temp and work to help show what's exactly happening. I'm so glad I got my hands on this. You know you're a nerd when you're like this excited about something. <laughs> okay and then for the very bottom drawer this basket. So I used to keep a bottle of anti-fog mirror anti-fog that I would dip my mirror in to not fog up whenever I'm using you know the mirror in their mouth and then I also have my stethoscope and my blood pressure cuff. I got this little name thing for it super cute i have been asked what stethoscope i went with but my school just had us require whatever was at the bookstore so i didn't specifically buy a specific brand of stethoscope it's not that big of a deal if you're trying to decide on buying a stethoscope for school just go with whatever's cheapest we're not listening to heart rhythms we're just listening the only thing that you really listen for is the heartbeat how many beats per minute and how to take blood pressure like it's just for blood pressure not for heart sounds i also have my utility gloves here which if you didn't know is what you need whenever you're transporting instruments to and from sterilization and when you're packaging instruments so I cut these in here they're clean I would always clean them after let them dry and then put them back in here and then I don't have it in here right now but I used to keep my box of gloves right here as well so I kept that in the bottom so that all I had to do was just pull it out pull those gloves out and put them in the glove dispenser so yeah this is how my clinic cart would look in school and that's everything that is in it and then also so I would have this big old tub that we put on top of it that has our names on it and a tooth and all of my instruments would be in here. This thing would be completely full, but I have them in another container right now. So yeah, not everybody's going to have a clinic cart. Some people are going to have clinic bags, but I hope that it does have you thinking about how you're going to organize your stuff and the th different things that you need for clinic and anything that could be beneficial to your patient. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you again very, very soon on the next one. Bye guys.